So in this video, we're going to look at CPR on an adult, a child and an infant. But it's really easy to remember because it's still 30 compressions and two rescue breaths. The only real difference is when it comes to anyone under 18, a child and an infant, we must give five rescue breaths first. There's also a difference in how we give the rescue breaths for an infant. So rather than mouth to mouth on an adult and child, we then do mouth to mouth and nose on a baby and the airway must be neutral on a baby slash infant. And then obviously when we do a compression on a baby and a child and an adult, we need to adjust the pressure that we push down with. So on an adult, you use two hands, a child, you might use one hand or maybe two, and an infant, you use two fingers. So we're gonna go through each of those right now for you. Check the air for danger. Hi, can you hear me? Wakey wakey, rise and shine. No response, help. Gonna open your airway. I'm gonna look this over for breathing for 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're not breathing. I'm gonna call 999. I've got an unconscious adult not breathing. I'm asking for a defibrillator. I'm gonna remove the clothing. Two, And then we're going to keep on going until the ambulance turns up. So that was the whole thing you've just watched. So we're going to break it down to make it a little bit easier and simpler to follow. And this is when you can grab your cushion or teddy so you can practice as you're watching the video. So the first thing we're going to do is check the area for danger. So we're looking, we're listening, and we're smelling for anything that could be dangerous. So you notice when I approach a casualty, I approach them from their feet. And that's because if he's got a spinal injury, your eyes are naturally looking in front of you. They're not looking behind. And if he was conscious, you don't want them moving that neck and making that spinal injury worse. So always try and approach them from their feet if you can. And then check the response by talking to them. So hello. No response. So now I'm going to see if they respond to a bit of pressure. I'm going to just push on their collarbone or squeeze their shoulders. Might even make a big loud noise to see if they blink. No response. Shouting for help. Help! And then when I open the airway, I then put two fingers underneath the chin, one hand on the forehead, and I did a chin lift and the head tilt. I kept my hands there. Because if I don't keep my hands there, what will happen is the airway will close. So chin lift, head tilt, keep my hands there. And then I got nice and low and I look at their belly, I listen with my ear and I'm feeling on my cheek for normal breaths and I'm doing this for 10 seconds. Now remember an adult is going to be breathing normally between two and four times in those 10 seconds. If they're not breathing, which is casualty isn't, I must leave my casualty and I must call the ambulance because the sooner I get them there, the better this person has of survival. Then when I return, making sure I'm asking for a defibrillator as well, I will come back and do compressions. I'm going to place the heel of my hand on the centre of the chest. I try and get my middle finger in line with the nipples. So I'm right on the sternum, middle finger in line with the nipples. Now I won't be able to push down deep enough if I'm sitting like this. So I'm going to get my shoulder over the top of my wrist, move my knees back, and other hand will go over the top. And I might even want to link it together like so, or just place it like that. And then I'm going to push down five to six centimetres in depth, making sure when I push down, I also come back up. Imagine this is your heart. As you're pushing down on the heart, you must allow the heart to refill, so you must come back up again. So you push and you come back up, push, come back up. So here, push, come back up, push. And I'm going to go at a speed of 100 to 120 beats per minute. You can sing yourself a little song if you like to as well. But I'm going to do 30 of them. And after I've done 30, I will then go to my rescue breaths. So same as before, two fingers under the chin, one hand on the forehead. We do a chin lift and the head tilt. This time I'm going to pinch the nose, open his mouth, keeping this airway open. Otherwise nothing will work if it's like that. And I'm going to open my mouth. <gasps> look away. And back on that chest again. 
it should only take me five seconds to give those two breaths. And then I'll just keep on going until someone else will take over from me, until they come back to life, or until I can't carry on anymore. To the every danger. Hi, are you okay down there? Can you hear me? Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Help. Open the airway. Not this time, feel for breathing for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're not breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Check the area for danger. Little one, are you okay? Wakey, wakey, can you hear me? Help! Now on a baby, we don't open their airway like we do on an adult and a child. A baby's airway is just neutral. It is not all the way back and it's not the forward. So it's just a neutral alignment. So I'm gonna get nice and low so I can feel, listen, and also see their breaths. I'm going to check this for 10 seconds. Now, a newborn baby is going to be breathing 10 times in those 10 seconds. This baby's not breathing, so I'm going to do five rescue breaths. Now, when I do my rescue breaths, I must make sure my mouth goes over their mouth and nose, because my mouth is quite big. So, ah, uh, look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Five breaths. And they say it's a cheek full of air that we use. Cheek full of air. After that, remove the clothing, find these nipples, and we'll do, find these nipples, and do compressions in line with the nipples, pushing down one third of their body depth and going the same speed as a child and the adult. So 100 to 120 beats per minute, making sure when we push down, we come back up. 30 of those, now two rescue breaths. One. Two, and then back on that chest again. Now, same as a child, we're gonna do three cycles of 30 to two. 28, 29, 30, two more breaths. One, two, last cycle. After this last cycle, we're then gonna go and call the ambulance because they haven't come back to life and there's nobody else here to do that for me. Might even use two thumbs if I get tired. One, two. Right, let's go and get you to an ambulance. Go and call, we're gonna go and call an ambulance now. And then we come back and we carry on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our important videos.